Here's the CNC circuit mill based on the same universal axis as the 3D printer, the D3D 3D printer. So we're calling this the D3D CNC circuit mill. So essentially, what is this? Let's hide the frame. Uh, so outside of the frame, we've got an XYZ gantry here. We've got a spindle motor right here. So that's basically the the cutting tool. This is for making little circuits. So you got a spindle. There's a mount here that holds the motor. This is a standard spindle motor. And the dimensions here are all accurate. The mount holds the motor, sandwiches it. There's bolts that clamp around these two lips here. Uh, so you can see the, the bolts that would go in there uh, to clamp the motor together. And we see that in this case this is designed within a 13 inch frame. The frame itself is just 13 inches. It turns out that the motion is not sufficient in XY. So we're going to have to go, if we use this exact configuration, you see that um, this gets to be actually quite wide to the point that there's very little travel distance right there on this rod. So we're going to increase this to 16 by 16 inch and then get about 5 by 5 inch uh, milling area. Right now we've got minimal area, only about 3 inches in an in a X and only like 1 or 2 inches in a Y, so we need to increase that. But yeah, great job, Will, thank you uh, for the D3D CNC circuit mill. And this shows you the construction set approach of the 3D printer construction set, the universal axis system. Basically these axes these, um, which are the same ones, identical ones in the X, Y, and Z directions, they're belt driven with the stepper motors, but they're identical and you can create different configurations like here for the CNC circuit mill and previously you've seen the 3D printer.